Last time, we made a cobalt corrol complex with a dimethyl sulfoxide apical ligand that we precipitated in water and filtered. This is the precipitate that we are going to now dissolve with dichloromethane, DCM, uh, helping ourselves with a little bit of methanol. We see here that the DCM dissolves the corrol, but the solution doesn't go through the filter paper because the filter paper is still wet with water. So we are going to use a little bit of methanol to help dissolve the water into the DCM. When we do this, we can see the solution uh, coming down to the Erlenmeyer flask and we see some water together with the DCM that we are going to have to dry later. The solution is a nice red-brown color, reminiscent of blood. Against the light, we can see the red color much better. To remove the water, we add some sodium sulfate into the solution. And then we stir the solution and let it stand for a few minutes in order for the sodium sulfate to suck up the water. After a few minutes, we filter the solution in order to get a DCM solution of the cobalt corrol dry that we are going to then evaporate and start to recrystallize. We collect the red-brown filtrate in a round bottom flask. We put the round bottom flask in the rotary evaporator and we evaporate it under reduced pressure around 600 millibar for around 15 minutes until the solution gets concentrated enough so that uh, the crystalline material starts to crash out of the solution. What we do now is to transfer the contents of the round bottom flask into a long vial using a pastor pipette and slowly pour the contents. You can see that there's already solid material, but we are going to redissolve that with some more DCM in order to achieve a slower recrystallization. We wash the remains of the round bottom flask with more DCM and pour it into the long vial. We mix it and then we add normal hexane slowly and carefully layering on top of the DCM solution. This is a crystallization method uh, called slow diffusion. We try not to perturb the DCM solution in order for the mixing to be very slow between the two solvents, thus achieving hopefully very nice and large crystals that can be used for X-ray diffraction. We are going to leave this in a quiet and dark place for a few days and hope for some nice crystals. That has been all for today. Thank you very much.